DC's Blue Beetle tells the story of Jamie Reyes, played by Jolyn Mary Duena. As a high school student, Jamie discovers a powerful alien scarab that fuses with his body and transforms him into the Blue Beetle, a powerful humanoid being. Alongside his friends and family, Jamie must learn to harness his new abilities. Along the way, he must also navigate the challenges of being a teenager and judging his superhero duties with everyday life. The Blue Beetle has many powers, including superhuman strength, flight, agility, and endurance. Additionally, the Scarab produces energy blasts that incapacitates opponents easily. Blue Beetle is a formidable superhero with a wide range of powers at his hands. The cast features Bruno Marquenzine, Harvey Gullion, Susan Sarandon, George Lopez, and many others. Angel Manuel Soto directs the project, and the writer for Blue Beetle will be Gareth Dunnett Auksher. And the film was once a TV project, is now going to be a movie. The film focuses on a Hispanic character deep from the DC Comics lore. The film also promises a focus on family and promises to break away from cookie cutter stories surrounding Latino families. Soto spoke with Gizmodo and described the film as something new. He touched on how audiences will react to seeing his family on the big screen. He quotes the following, not the hallmark cookie cutter Latinos, something that feels like, yeah, that's my uncle. I can totally relate. That's for me as a director is probably the most satisfying thing being able to get an authentic chemistry from a collective that feels like something I grew up with. Even though Jamie Reyes is the latest Blue Beetle, the upcoming film isn't just going to be surrounding his Blue Beetle. As Soto said, it's going to be a celebration of Blue Beetle's coolest elements from all versions of the character, not just one. The trailer already hints to all this with nods to Dan Garrett and Ted Kord, and we expect more of that as the movie progresses. Dan Garrett was the original Blue Beetle from the comic book's Golden Age, first appearing in 1939 in Fox's Mystery Men's Comics No. 1. Ted Kord was a genius inventor, athlete, and industrialist. He was introduced in the Silver Age of DC Comics, Kord became a successor, but never really tapped into the power of the Scarab. He battled with his uncle Jarvis Kord to stop him from unleashing an army of androids to conquer the Earth. The Blue Beetle of the movie Jamie Reyes obtained the Scarab after Ted Kord died, when it was blasted into Jamie's home. This will get him in conflict with the film's main antagonist. Susan Sarandon plays Victoria Kord, an original character of the film. Victoria replaces Jarvis as the film's main villain. A big thing played out in this is Susan Sarandon calling out the Blue Beetle and saying that the Scarab belongs to her, even though that it chose him. I think this kind of entanglement between both clashes of destinies what leads to this film's conflict. Another thing that I really like is the way that Jamie Reyes is portrayed early in the trailer to form of most hero origins. I like that the film focused a lot on the humor and the buildup of his character, kind of earning that Scarab that he eventually gets in the trailer. He thinks that the Blue Scarab likes him and it attacks him and his whole family freaks out alongside him, of course, having no idea what's going on. As a person who's enjoyed seeing this character in animation in recent years and in video games, I find a new trailer appealing. Jamie Reyes is now set for the big screen and for the film stage. The effects look really good and the cinematography reminds me a lot of Peacemaker and Shazam. But the main grade system that I use is based on overall story and character. Will DC be able to land smoothly on this project? And if Blue Beetle is a success, what does that mean for its potential spot in the updated DCU world? Deadline is reporting that Blue Beetle is officially set for the DCU. As a result, the film has a major impact on building James Gunn's world. Let me know if this news excites you and if the trailer excites you for the upcoming film. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope that you enjoyed today's topic. If you could hit that sub button, that would be awesome. Hit that like button and boost my video up on the algorithm. Click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos that get uploaded. And if you have some time to spare, check out some of these videos on your screen right now.